Hi everyone. Today's topic is transportation or modes of transportation. What's transport? Transport refers to traveling from one location to another. Means the movement of people and goods from one place to another. In the early days, human traveled long distance on foot. But today, how you all came into school? By bus or by car? or auto or jeep each and every one using different different ways isn't it but if you want to go to see taj mahal which type of transport you will use if you want to go to other countries which mode of transport you will use according to our need our mode of transportation also will change isn't it yes today we can study about the different mode of transportation mainly our mode of transportation can divide into three land transportation water transportation and air transportation we can divide this road transportation again into two road transport and rail transport first is road transportation the earliest roads were mere paths of mud hardened by regular use now we can see these type of roads in village areas this type of road are called kacha roads or unmetalled roads remote areas in villages are linked with these kacha roads while cities have pakka roads what is pakka road that is metalled roads or roads made of tar these are motorable roads means pakka roads are motorable roads in short we can see two types of roads first one is kacha roads or unmetalled roads we can see this type of roads in villages next is pakka roads or metalled roads we can see this type of metalled roads in cities or towns there are many type of pakka roads which are they they are national highways express ways state highways flyways freeways etc we have heard a lot about nh roads what is nh road national highways what is national highway the national highways connects important places in different states there are several national highways in india the nh1 or national highway 1 links new delhi to the town of attari in punjab the longest highway in india is nh7 which connects varanasi in uttar pradesh to kanyakumari in tamil nadu we have a network of highways also it is known as golden quadrilateral it is a network of highways connecting india's four top metropolitan cities namely delhi mumbai chennai and kolkata it is the largest highway project in india This Golden Quadrilateral project was launched in 2001 as part of National Highways Development Project or NHDP. What is the main feature of this Golden Quadrilateral? The most important feature is that they all are six lane super highways. So these super highways reduce the time and distance between the mega cities and related terminals. Next is expressways. what's expressways expressways also highways expressways are the highways with the high quality road networks comprising 6 to 8 lanes what's the feature of expressways it comprising 6 to 8 lanes next is freeways a freeway is a controlled access highway it is also known as an express highway that is designed exclusively for high speed vehicular traffic traffic flow on a freeway is unhindered because there are no traffic signals intersections or at grade crossings with other roads railways or pedestrian paths what's the difference between a freeway and an expressway a freeway is usually designed for fast vehicular traffic without many facilities while an expressway is a road constructed for high speed vehicles with many facilities 
freeway is also a highway road that connects two or more cities while an expressway is a fast speed road that could be a part of the highway next is state highways state highways are the roads that connect important towns and cities within a state please be noticed national highways are the roads that connect every major city and state capital of india but state highways are the roads that connect important towns and cities within a state next is flyaways flyaways are the roads that are built on bridges over existing roads in short roads play an important role in connecting places they are used to carry passengers and goods to different places they play a major role in growth of our industries raw materials and finished goods are transported through roads to factories and then to the markets they also play a vital role in times of emergency such as famines and floods they help in the rescue of people and quick transportation of goods which are the advantages of road transportation there are many advantages and benefits of road transportation the main advantage of the road transportation is it is not costly the important advantages of road transportation is its door to door service road transport provides door to door service so it is more beneficial next is employment road transport provides employment to many persons directly and indirectly it is low cost of packing road transport involves very few handling processes this does not require specific packing work involving high cost personalized the travel and services road transport is the only mode of transport that can serve the individual as per his specific desire the user has the freedom to select transport services which are the main disadvantages of road transport land coverage road transport occupies more land it destroys agriculture as well as natural terrain environmental pollution compared to another mode of transportation road transport has been one of the major causes of environmental pollution noise fumes vibrations etc are the effects of road transport energy consumption road transport consumes a large chunk of fuel next is parking parking has been a great challenge for road transport especially in metropolitan these are the main disadvantages of road transport now road transportation is over next is railways railways also are the part of land transportation james watt invented the steam engine in 1769 trains and ships were fitted with steam engines this is not only made the transportation of goods faster but also helped to carry load slowly petrol diesel and electrical engines were introduced as a result traveling became faster there are different types of trains we can see throughout the world they can be passenger trains or goods trains passenger trains can be fast and are often really long so that they can carry more passengers they usually have a fixed schedule there are three main types of passenger trains long distance short distance and trains within cities long distance trains are built for travels between different cities or a region of a country they even cross through several countries at times the grand orient express is the example for this type of long distance trains it connects paris in france with istanbul in turkey there are many different types of long distance trains around the world among that the most important one is the high speed rail the high speed rail is built for long distance travel since it can get passengers to their destination quicker generally high speed trains run at a speed above 200 km per hour the high speed train is reduced time and money costs the first successful high speed passenger railway system was japan's shinkansen in 1964 this train was popularly known as the bullet train what's the name of the fast trains in japan that is bullet trains these trains run at a speed of 
400 km per hour short distance trains short distance trains are designed to carry more passengers their seating systems are often more packed and can even have space for people to travel while standing next is within city trains different types of transport are needed to handle the hustle and bustle of the cities on a daily basis rapid transit trains tram light rail monorail rail car etc are included in within city trains large cities often rely on metro system these systems can also be tubes subway or underground rails automated people mover or apm trains the automated people mover or apm is a small scale gateway transit system used in a small areas like airports theme parks downtown districts or under the capital building in mountainous regions rail routes are constructed through tunnels the second tunnel in japan is the longest railway tunnel in the world railway tunnels have been built through seas also through the english channel a rail tunnel connects england and paris the trans siberian railway or trans siberian railroad in russia is the longest rail route longest railway tunnel is the second tunnel longest railroad that is trans siberian railway or trans siberian railroad in russia is the longest rail route the united states of america has the largest network of railways in the world india has one of the largest railway networks in asia and the fourth largest in the world the system of railways was introduced by the british in india the first train in india ran between mumbai to thane in 1853 railways carry a large number of people from one place to another in less time they are known as the lifeline of the country india has the fourth largest network of railways in the world for smooth functioning the indian railway network is divided into several zones they are 16 in number central eastern east central east coast northern north central northeastern northeast frontier northwestern southern south central southeastern southeast central southwestern western west central these are the 16 zones of indian railway indian railways have been divided into three categories on the basis of the width of the track they are broad gauge meter gauge and narrow gauge the distance between rails in broad gauge is 1.676 meter but the distance between rails in meter gauge is 1 meter the distance between the rails in narrow gauge is 0.76 2 meter or 0.610 meter it is generally confined to hilly areas that means narrow gauge is generally confined to hilly areas india has different types of trains passenger trains are used to carry passengers to different parts of the country goods trains are used to carry goods from one place to another they are also known as freight trains Rajdhani Express Rajdhani Express trains connect to the national capital New Delhi to various state capitals or the largest cities of several states These are fully air conditioned high speed long distance trains Next is Duranto Express Duranto Express trains are long distance super fast trains that connect several state capital and metro cities of india next is shadabdi express shadabdi express trains are super fast and fully air conditioned trains that connect major indian cities they are day trains the sorna shadabdi express is the luxurious variant of the shadabdi express trains jan shadabdi express trains are the economical version of the shadabdi express these are also super fast day trains without this we have super fast express 
ഡബിൾ ഡെക്കർ എക്സ്പ്രസ് സുവിത എക്സ്പ്രസ് മഹാത്മന എക്സ്പ്രസ് ജൻസാധാരൺ എക്സ്പ്രസ് വിവേക് എക്സ്പ്രസ് തേജസ് എക്സ്പ്രസ് വന്ദേ ഭാരത് എക്സ്പ്രസ് എക്സെട്ര നൗ മെട്രോ റെയിൽ ഈസ് ഫാസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കമിംഗ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് പോപ്പുലർ മീൻസ് ഓഫ് മാസ് റാപ്പിഡ് ട്രാൻസിറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ നൗ വി ക്യാൻ സി മെട്രോസ് ഇൻ ടോൾ സിറ്റീസ് ബട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് മെട്രോ ഇൻ ദ കൺട്രി ഈസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ടു ഓപ്പറേറ്റ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി ഫോർ ഇൻ കൊൽക്കത്ത ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ദ ഒള്ളി മെട്രോ റെയിൽ നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് that is controlled by the indian railways all others are operated by autonomous local authorities today we can see metro trains in delhi mumbai bangalore hyderabad chennai kochi jaipur like these cities besides as many as other indian cities have metro lines under different stages of implementation trams also form a part of kolkata's transport system one of the important achievements of the indian railways has been the construction of kongan railway in 1998 it is 760 km long rail route connecting roha in maharashtra to mangalore in karnataka it is considered an engineering marvel it crosses 146 rivers streams nearly 2000 bridges and 91 tunnels asia's largest tunnel which is nearly 6.5 km long the states of maharashtra goa and karnataka are partners in this undertaking in short indian railway is one of the most popular and busiest mode of transportation it connects numerous cities towns states districts and regions now we have finished land transportation land transportation is divided into two first one road transportation second one railway transportation we have finished both of them thank you